go through your journey, of course. Uh, you've reached, uh, you've, you've had a diagnosis of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Uh, perhaps uh, you've been told you don't need treatment. At this point, you could do additional testing, what we call a prognostic testing, looking at different chromosome abnormalities, looking at other genetic features of the disease. Uh, we've learned a lot more about how to characterize the disease. But it's important to realize that those results won't influence a decision to treat or not. Uh, in other words, additional testing for prognosis uh, doesn't then lead to the need for treatment. Uh, so it, it can uh, take a group of individuals and divide them into subgroups, uh, some of whom uh, might need treatment sooner than others. Uh, but of course, we can't predict that for an individual. And so one way of looking at that is if you want to know that information uh, and you get a good result, then you feel good about it. And if you get a result that might suggest that you would need treatment sooner, then you worry more about it. So you have to realize what it is that you're asking for if you're going to do that testing. So we don't typically do that routinely in, in all of our patients. However, if it comes time to needing treatment, uh, and that's based on clinical grounds, meaning you have symptoms, uh, your blood counts change significantly, you develop anemia, you have a lot of fatigue, uh, uh, things like that, that that prompt treatment, then we do advocate that testing. Uh, we have what's called a fish test on the blood to look at specific chromosomes, and we have what's called mutational testing. Those are quite important now because they can predict how you might respond to a specific therapy. So for your uh, doctor, um, they'll use that information in some cases to decide which therapy to choose.